if Jimmy Stewart was standing here alive today, he would be saying, Welcome to Indiana, my, my hometown, and welcome to my museum. Hey everyone, Sean here with Capturing Moments and Events. Today we are in Indiana, Pennsylvania, the hometown where Jimmy Stewart, the actor, the American actor, that was born and raised here in Indiana, Pennsylvania. We're going to head into the museum and take a look at his legacy and so on. So let's head inside. And before we head in, we'll take a look at the statue here of James M. Stewart. If you were to look down here, James M. Stewart, dedicated May 21st of 1983 on the occasion of Jimmy's 75th birthday celebration. And I do remember that year that he was here in Indiana, Pennsylvania when he had stopped back in his home grounds. Heading into the Jimmy Stewart Museum here in Indiana, Pennsylvania. Well, let's take a look here. James Maitland Stewart, which he was born in 1908. A legendary American actor, born and raised in this town during his long career in 1932 to 1991. Jimmy Stewart achieved fame on stage, screen, and TV. He won an Academy Award for his role in The Philadelphia Story. Other films include Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, It's a Wonderful Life, and Harvey. He flew 20 compact missions in World War II rose to Brigadier General, Air Force Reserve, and received the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1985. So, we're going to head inside and know a little more about Jimmy Stewart himself. As you walk in, they have this. On site was located the hardware store, owned and operated by Alexander Stewart, fallen of the famous actor. James Stewart, 1995. And Jimmy Stewart's dad used to have a hardware store located here in Indiana, and it had burnt down, and it was built again. Well, I think it has it right here. It says it's a marker with a granite base and bronze dial that once stood on site of the Stewart Hardware Store on 800 Philadelphia Street. Across from the museum, Stewart Hardware, known as the Big Store, was founded in 1853 and it closed operations in 1961 at the death of Alex Stewart, the father of Jimmy Stewart. And that tells you a little bit more about that. And uh, there's a poster stamp with James Stewart. And as you head up to the steps, kind of gives you a history of his films back as early as the 1930s, the 1940s. To the 50s and also the 1960s and films even as far as the 1970s it's kind of hard to read with the coloring and the lettering an American tale Evil Goes West. Okay. That was like a, a animated cartoon, and I believe that he had used his voice for that cartoon back in the 1990s. Okay, they have more 
things displayed about his movies and his career through the decades from the 1920s, the 30s, as far as uh, kind of Now here's a house that he was born in. We're gonna try to uh, make a stop and take a look at that afterwards. But yeah. I know it's kind of hard to uh, read some of the stuff that's here because everything is in such small print and it's really hard to really read everything on the screen. And this is kind of like highlights. It says, from a wonderful life, which was his life. And there's Jimmy Stewart, the day he was born and the year that he passed away with Harvey. And he says, I'll miss you too, Harvey. And this is the doorway to the entrance of the Jimmy Stewart Museum. So we're going to head on in and uh, we're going to take a tour. Hope you enjoy. Okay, we have some things here. Um, is a, a statue of the small version of the big tall statue that is outside. And they have a Jimmy Stewart Memorial Park Foundation that is located here in Indiana, Pennsylvania. And down here, they do have the, his signature and handprints in a cement. Some pictures of Jimmy Stewart himself. Now here's a replica of the full-size statue of Jimmy Stewart, that the same one they have outside. And they do have um, the Stewart and Company hardware store that Jimmy Stewart's father had had back in the days. Hi there. Oh. Okay, so that just happened. Let me bring you up to par what had just happened. I was in the museum doing the YouTube video. Everything seemed to be fine. I walked in, I paid the admission, and the gentleman there asked, if uh, this was my first time, and of course I said yes, this is my first time. And he, before I went on, he had asked me if, if there's anything else that, like any questions or anything, and I said no, I'm just going to come in and do a YouTube video, and that was it. Well, as probably within five to seven minutes into the museum, a woman had walked in the door that caught my attention and she happened to be the executive director of the Jimmy Stewart Museum. Now, <laughs> when that happened, I knew something was not going to be right here and I didn't know what was going to happen, but she had told me that there was no video 
recording in the museum. And I said, okay. So I'm trying to figure out now at this point, where is this going to take me for the rest of this afternoon? Well, she had told me within her business, it will kind of hurt her business, which I understand that if someone were to watch a video of the Jimmy Stewart Museum, then they feel that they have no reason to come to the museum and to look around. Now, I understand that in, in a certain aspect, but I told her that this video and will also encourage people to come to see the, uh, the museum. Just like any other YouTube video that anybody had watched, if you're watching a YouTube at, uh, like Niagara Falls or Disney World or any kind of uh, venue, um, when you watch it and you've never been there, it does encourage you more to go and explore that. But in some aspects, she didn't really think that that way. But, you know, that's, you know, for their each and their own, for them to decide that. Um, but they do have their own rules and restrictions. So it's probably a new policy because I know in the past there have been other YouTubers that have been in that museum, which is okay but i guess now my turn is there and now the policy is up so with that policy being enforced she was being very sincere and she said i'll let it go this time only if you only if you don't go in depth of the whole museum which means i can't really go focus on one thing uh, and talk about it, move on to the next thing, talk about like a uniform. She said, just kind of pace back and forth here, pace back and forth there, and then kind of go from there. And don't try to focus too much on text items like magazines or anything that's there. Um, just more or less kind of give a feel for people and say, hey, I want to see that. I want to come in, in, into the museum. But I, I said, okay, I will do that. So I was being nice about it. And I want to respect that. And uh, so she was nice. And I felt I owe her that. So I did what I did in the video. So if you see the video that you watch, and I don't get a whole lot. And you think, wow, he's really zipping through that real fast, or he didn't get this shot, or he didn't get that. Well, that that's why. So, um, but I mean, I apologize. But then again, I do have to abide the policy and the rules of the museum. That's something I will always do, no matter where I'm at. Um, if I'm not allowed, if she shut me down, which she did, thank God. I wouldn't have any video of this, but um, other than that, um, that's all I want to let you know. I mean, it was no big thing. I was still able to video and document the museum, but I can't. I couldn't get what I really wanted to get, but that's okay. You know, I was like I said, I was able to do that. She was very sincere, very nice about it, and uh, and I respect that. So we're gonna continue with the video. And, and enjoy. Talk to you then. Okay. We did start out with the, um, the hardware store, as you can see. This was his father's hardware store. Some of the stuff that came from the hardware store. And there's a picture of Jimmy Stewart on the phone in the hardware store. And his dad in the background. It was the 50th, uh, 50th reunion back in 19, well, it says 1982 on it, but it says 1932 that, um, from Princeton University. In 
here's a big victory sign for JB Stewart that was on the Life magazine. That was placed on the Indiana Courthouse. And if you kind of look out the window, I don't know if you can really see it. Mm, probably put my finger right, right there. That's where that was at. Here's a drawing of his house, which we will stop by and look around. If we can. And here's on his site was the birthplace of James Stewart. Yeah, if you ever come to Indiana, this is one of the museums uh, is a must that you want to stop by. A lot of pictures here. Here is the uh, famous booth of Jason's Restaurant from Beverly Hills. This is the actual booth that Jimmy Stewart and many of his friends had sat in there. And of course, a lot of other celebrities as well. But this is his booth that he sat there. And there's even the original wall, the paneling wall, and the lights that's hanging there. Yeah. And then they got the menu. It's pretty neat to know that, uh, that Jimmy Stewart sat right there. Here are some of the uniforms that Jimmy Stewart had wore in the past. Some medal and badges. a lot of pictures during his military years. And again, of all respect, that I am only going to show certain things. So I don't want to get into too much trouble. This here was the uh, Jimmy Stewart's office. There's a picture of him by President Reagan. He was close to President Reagan. Yeah. grandfather clock that he had. Right down below is the uh, the Bob Hope for a drug free America. And there's the clock that we just saw they were standing by. And there's the Harvey license plate from the movie Harvey the Rabbit. A lot of pictures of his family going down the hallway here. Yeah, this is a wall a tribute to Gloria, his wife. And that was from her children on there. For me, it had been love at first sight. She was the kind of girl I have always dreamed of. Very nice. with his family and kids and this is his uh, bedroom 
the replica of it from my house here. And there's the bed. And right up here is the bed that he's at. There's a lot of memorabilia, a lot of collectibles on there. There you have an old TV. Some of the times when Jimmy Stewart was on TV called Stewart, dedicated the whole wall, dedicated of Stewart on television. This was his TV days. The days he was on TV, made a lot of guest star appearances on movies, TV shows, and even on talk shows. A big portrait there of Jimmy Stewart himself. He even shows him. You have a bunch of movie posters that they have exhibit here. Never treat your audience as customers, always as partners. It's a wonderful life, one of the best movies I thought. And Mr. Warren, Mr. Smith goes to Washington. Yep, you have a whole wall of movie posters and stuff. Then we have the uh, Super Simplex 35 millimeter projector. Definitely, definitely a lot of great movies like Alfred Hitchcock's Rear Window, Vertigo. One of the, there's another two of my favorite movies from Jimmy Stewart. And here's the infamous suit that he wore in the, uh, the Glenn Miller story. And of course, we meet up with Harvey. Harvey was another movie of his. Picture of Jimmy Stewart. That's the famous uh, movie poster of Harvey. And we're gonna head into the western part the uh, museum where he was in a lot of uh, movies. A good Western shows you commandership, loyalty, and physical courage. More movie posters of his Western movies. And again, I can't really stop and focus on any of them. So. I always have to buy the rules when you're a YouTuber because you don't want to get kicked out or thrown out or Again, you don't want people to have a bad rap about you. So it's always better to play the rules. 
Airport 77. I forgot he was in that movie. That's right. And that movie I always liked back in the days. I remember that. And of course you got the Flight of the Phoenix. And they even got the hat with everything signed on there. Welcome Lassie home. The Magic of Lassie. Now there's a movie I needed even heard of. Didn't even know that was even out. Huh. Might have to look into that. This here has a lot of awards and honors in this room. With a lot of, um, you can see that was autographed. Even has the uh, American Cinema Award for Distinguished Achievement in Film, presented to Jim Stewart back in January 12th of 1991. And then there's some pictures there. He has a tuxedo that was once worn by Jim Stewart. American Spirit Foundation Golden Anniversary Salute, the best actor from 1941 to 1991. And you get a copy of the uh, Hollywood Walk of Fame there too. And here's Stewart's front door home in California was located on 918 Roxbury Drive in Beverly Hills. Now, this is um, a picture of the family in front of the door that they actually took the door off and brought it here. There's a lot of um, guests that had passed through that door, such as Johnny Carson, Carol Burnett, Jack Benny, Bob Hope, and many more. Wow, that's pretty neat. And when you come out, you have a gift shop. Lots of gifts and so forth here. We got the wonderful wife, uh, Afghan. Movie posters. Yeah. And you got the. Uh, you are now in Bedford Falls. And little box buckets, all kinds of stuff, t-shirts, booklets. Yeah, here's all the DVD movies. Like Jimmy Stewart, you know? So, now here you go, the James Stewart. So that concludes this tour of the museum. So what we're gonna to try to do, we're gonna to try to go to his homestead, the home that Jimmy Stewart was born and raised in. So we're gonna head there. So hang tight, we're gonna go there right now. Okay, we're here on top of a hill and right, right here is Jim, the former Jimmy Stewart's home that he was born and raised in. So we're gonna take a walk over there. And here they have Street, Jimmy Stewart Street, named after him.
Yeah, this is it. House that Jimmy Stewart had once lived in. Here in Indiana, Pennsylvania. There it is. And think he used to have a view looking over. Well, I'm sure he didn't have a lot of, uh, well, he might not know for sure what he had back then, but uh, yeah, looking over there. Yeah, that's it. And there you have it. The Jimmy Stewart Museum and his old homestand. So, until then, I hope you enjoyed it. I tried to get as much as I could um, that I was allowed to. But, um, but hey, we got what we got. So, so I'll see you in my next video. Until then, have a good day.